How's it going everybody? Welcome back. Today I'm going to show you guys how you can use Surfshark on the Mac. Now I am on Windows, but it doesn't matter because the user interface is going to be roughly the same and the way you use a VPN is going to be also the same no matter what device you're using, whether you're on Android, iOS, Mac OS, Windows. It's basically uh, the same principles that you can just apply and the way to connect and how to browse the VPN and kind of understand what the VPN is about. It's all the same. Now there is a feature that is not available on your Mac and you might notice when you go to your settings on your Mac is that there won't be a bypasser feature. I believe they're working to add it uh, in the future, but I don't think it's available yet. Bypasser is pretty much split tunneling, which is gonna give the ability to select which applications are routed through the VPN and which can bypass the VPN. And this is a pretty useful feature, uh, but you do still get the kill switch. You still have protocols. I believe you do have IKV2 on your Mac as well. Uh, so yeah, there might be a little bit of a change in protocol, so keep that in mind, but you still get rotating IP, no border, mode clean web as well as the kill switch and the kill switch will kill your internet connection effectively if your vpn disconnects unexpectedly preventing any rare ip leaks the clean web feature is just an ad blocker so you want to keep that one on you have quick connect which you can obviously set up to whichever um, server you choose and then you can kind of um, connect to that server from this button right here. So if I go ahead and hit quick connect, it won't connect me to the closest server. It will connect me to the selected server, which is going to be the New York server. Okay. So you've got over 3,200 servers in a hundred countries. And you've got a couple of specialty servers right here. So you have multi hop, which is going to write your connections to two servers instead of just one. And you have static IP, which will give you the same IP address every time we return to one of these servers instead of the dynamic IP addresses as it is with the regular servers. Again, as you can tell, I'm connected to the New York server because that's what I picked, but normally it would just connect you to the closest server. Uh, you'll be able to secure up to virtually an unlimited number of devices with uh, Surfshark just using one subscription. So it's an amazing VPN if you want to share it with as many friends and family members as you would like. Honestly, it's the best budget VPN that gets the job done at the cheapest possible cost, as you can tell, without really sacrificing any of the necessary security features to keep your device secure or devices rather in this case. You'll be able to torrent to your heart's content because torrenting is allowed, including peer to peer activities, all kinds of peer to peer activities, no bandwidth limitations, no throttling, and you'll be able to unblock all kinds of streaming services from the 100 countries that you have at your disposal right here. So that's pretty much it. Now that you have an idea of how uh, Surfshark works, it's a very simple software to use. It's just a security uh, application that's meant to change your location and obviously encrypt your traffic and keep you secure. Once you have it figured out, let's say I wanna unblock BBC iPlayer, I'll connect to London and in just a few seconds, I'll be connected in my internet or network will recognize as if I'm in London and I can go ahead and go view BBC iPlayer as if I'm in London myself. It's as simple as that. Now, if you'd like to learn a little bit more about Surfshark's privacy policy, speed, streaming, and torrenting capabilities, as well as security and features, you'll find the full review down below, and you'll find links to pricing and discounts if you want to jump straight to that. Either way, Surfshark is covered by 30-day money-back guarantee, so you can test drive the VPN for 30 days risk-free. Otherwise, you can just get yourself the refund. Besides that, comment below if you have any questions. I'll be happy to answer all of them. Like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything VPNs and cybersecurity. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.